Greetings and netizens of YouTube, it is Ip of Rage Quit TV here, gonna be casting a game between a Liquid Hero and Trauma. It is a TVP on Shakura's Plateau, and statistically speaking, this is Hero's worst matchup at around a 60% win rate, which isn't bad, but his other matchups are closer to that 70%, which is insane. It is why he is ranked number 4 in Grandmaster on the Korean server at the time of playing this game. Trauma? He is ranked 166 on the Korean ladder, but his internal ranking must be pretty darn high to be matched up against Hero. I don't know who this guy is. He could be a Smurf, or he could just be one of those really good Koreans, because there's just so many of them. Hero going to be placing his 9 pylon in a little bit of an odd location. Not sure why it's there, but uh, doesn't really mean too much. A 10 supply deeper going to be built for Trauma. And on Shakur's Plateau, you really only have 3 builds that are very common. Of course, you have the 1-1-1 with the Cloaked Banshee variant. Puma's known for this. That's not so common. A lot of Tam players don't like doing the 1-1-1 on ladder and just showing it off because it's a very easy build to pull off. And they just want to kind of keep it in the dark, or at least I know that's why Puma doesn't 1-1-1 on ladder all that much. And then you have a 2 Barracks Pressure build, and then also you have a 1 Rax Expand, so we'll see exactly what Trauma does. It will most likely be one of those three, as Hero does go scout after the 13 Gateway that looks like. And, uh, he will be coming in here. We do have an SCV out for Trauma, going to be scouting. Nothing really odd going on just yet. A gas does get built around a 15 supply for here, so everything is absolutely standard. But uh, Trauma going to be hiding a barracks down here. This is a little bit of a Makarax. And Hero is not going to go down there to scout that. But there are two ways to tell if that barracks does get placed. It's either going to be counting SCVs to see if there is an SCV missing, because of course one does have to go down here to build this barracks. And you can't keep constant SCV production up if... You want to get your orbital command on time. So Hero does see that Barracks is finished and doesn't see the orbital command morphing just yet. So he's going to be knowing something is up if his stir sense is with him this game. Marine is going to be coming out. The probe, of course, is trapped in. Trauma trying to keep that one Barracks hidden as long as possible by putting that supply depot so early to stop the probe from seeing it. And the probe just going to be going around the base of Trauma. Trying to stay alive as long as possible just to see if any gases could possibly be built. And it will be taken out and he's not going to be seeing too much. But as I did mention, if he noticed that orbital command was late or an SCV was missing, which it looks like he does because the probe is just going all around, he knows, okay, something is not right. Something just does not add up. Drama now going to be coming into Hero's base to scout. There is a zealot there going, moving out immediately. He wants to just poke in, see exactly what Trauma is doing. He is building a bunker, and we'll see if he keeps... No, he's not really keeping these Marines hidden, putting them up here. So if Hero does come up, sees this Marine count, he will know there are two barracks. And uh, we do have Hero going to be building another gateway. He doesn't want to go for a one-gate expand against anything he doesn't know, because a two barracks pressure does kind of beat the one-gate expand. It won't just win the game, but it is enough to force a cancel on the Nexus and force you to use Chrono Boost on your gateways, which you don't really want to do. You want to use it on something to get tech. Hero is going to be poking up here, but Trauma has moved out a lot of Marines, so he's going to try to go in Hero's... Like, just around here and do what damage he can. But a probe does go on this watchtower and will scout all of those Marines. The Marines hop in the watchtower do see the probe leaving, so he knows he has been found. He is going to be staying in these trees just because it is a line of sight blocker. If he leaves these, then stalkers can kite the Marines. But as long as he stays in here, the stalkers can't shoot the Marines without getting in a close enough range to be hit by the Marines. And in that scenario, the Marines do beat stalkers out. Hero is going to be expanding because I believe he did see Trauma's expand. Yes, he did see Trauma take that expansion when he was poking up there. This one probe is going to be going down and Trauma is going to be falling back into those bushes. Not before taking some damage. Two shots go off on one of those Marines. Three shots, four shots, and he does kill one. But now the Marines earn this line of sight blocker. The Zealot does come and Hero is going to be pushing forward. But Trauma has more Marines on the way. So Hero is going to have to back off. He cannot engage the Marines in this line of sight blocker without any zealots to give him vision inside that. So Hero just going to be staying right here while Trauma puts more and more Marines in that little bush. Hoping Hero does pop his face in there and uh, take a lot of damage. But it looks like Trauma is going to be pulling back. Hero currently going to be getting uh, two more gates and a robo facility for that observer. 
And both expansions are almost done. We do see Trauma added on another barracks, or another two barracks, and is going for a tech lab. So he's definitely going to be putting the pressure on Hero right now. Well, not right now, but probably around 8.30 or 9 minutes he will be moving out with a lot of units. That will be enough time for its concussive shells to finish. As Hero is going to be poking in with his stalkers, just looking around the map, he does know something is wrong. He hasn't really got a full scout. He probably knows there are two barracks, but he doesn't know anything besides that. So he's just going to look around for any type of hidden tech or any expansions. I'm kind of surprised he didn't check right here because this is a spot that a lot of command centers do get built. And they just lift up and take this third base. Maybe this one stalker that is going absolutely everywhere will be going back to check that area out. And we have Hero going on four gases so ridiculously quick, which either means he's going to go into a Colossus tech route or go very deep in the Templar tree, either High Templars or DTs. And knowing Hero, he loves those War Prisms, so I'm going to be guessing he is going to be going for some DTs. He's getting a Twilight Council right now. And uh, Trauma is going to be moving. If he was going to be going for Blink, he would only need these two gases or possibly even three. And here we're going to have not many sentries because he is uh, really saving up on that gas just so he can go into whatever he wants. That Twilight Council is going to finish when he has around 250 gas, so I believe it will be DTs. And Trauma is going to come up here. He is going to see only two sentries and see both of those gases, which means he knows something is going to be up if he is uh, really paying attention. Because two sentries at this point in the game means a whole lot. Hero with those force fields is going to be able to possibly repel this attack. But he did lose those sentries and Trauma is going to be just cutting this one zealot and then going on back home. Possibly he is thinking about going back in but no he does want to retreat right now. And seeing only those two sentries at this point in the game you should see around five or six sentries. So he is getting a missile turret up right now probably just because he sees all that gas. I don't think... He saw this one gas, but he had enough area where he could have possibly seen a probe coming back. But uh, he just knew, okay, there's a lot of gas missing here. We do have a Dark Shine and a Blink on the way, and this is going to be really abusive. Hero is going to be able to get an Observer here, Blink up top, and maybe even a Pylon or a Warp Prism to whoop in DTs, and all of a sudden, Hero will completely bypass this one force. And if he brings an Observer... Uh, Sentry in that war prism. He can even force field the ramp and force trauma to stay down here while Hero takes out his uh, whole base. Looks like Hero wants to take his third base. We do have one Marine on patrol right here. Going to be taking out that probe before he can even think about taking the third base. And Hero is going to be pulling back to deal with that one Marine. The probe does get away, does not go down. And now the three stalkers are going to try to take out the Marine. The Marine takes his drugs. So his death is a little bit less painful, and here is just going to leave one Stalker to finish that off. His Blink should finish relatively soon, so he could have possibly just Blunked down from up here, down here. Factory out for Trauma, going to be scouting. We do have a Warp Prism here, going to be morphing in DTs, and then going into Trauma's base. While Hero just sees this, Trauma is going to be moving out with those DTs coming. Trauma may be forced back, and this is an excellent timing for Hero to go in his base with DTs. There's no detection right here. He does have a uh, missile turret up at the front, but he's not really taking account of the warp prism. Now a bunch of SCVs will be going down. Trauma looks like he is just going to be keep on going. We only have one sentry. He does have enough energy to do two force fields, but Trauma could just lift up. Hero does have one immortal out, warping in some more sentries so he can get those force fields off. But again, Trauma could just use those medevacs and elevator on up. Meanwhile, those DTs still doing damage. The worker kill count is up to 10. He is going to be taking out a supply depot as uh, the factory does get taken out. We do have Trauma just going here to see if there is a third base. While these DTs are taking out supply depots for Trauma, Trauma going to be bringing a few Marauders and SCVs Marines to deal with these DTs. Hero does have all his DTs clumped up, and that is a huge mistake, but he does manage to pick up two DTs in that War Prism and get away. And now Hero does see... That uh, Trauma is retreating with that one tower, so he is going to be moving on out. And where are those DTs at? Looks like they are just in this one warp prism. Going to be landing again. We do have a missile turret being built in his mineral line. That does complete. And those DTs can't really do too much damage. There's a missile turret here, over here. And, uh, I don't know. 
does manage to take out that supply depot and gets one back into that uh War Prism. We ha may have had an engagement right here. Medivacs were healing up, but I think here just blunk away and got away from stimmed units there. The Observer, of course, does see it, and we do have the War Prism still trying to be annoying. Looks like he did lose one of those DTs, or the last one in, and now a Viking is going to be making an end to that War Prism, but he did kill a few Supply Depots and 10 workers, and Hero is going in, puts off the uh, Guardian Shield, gets a few Force Fields off, trapping four Marines, and is going to blink to take out some more Marines right now. 119 Supply, 2, 113. Still a very close game. We do have Trauma sitting at 1-0, while Hero is at 0-0. He is going up for that Temple Archives right now, getting another Immortal, more sentries, and he's going for 1-1, while Trauma just going for his 1 armor, but again, Trauma does have his one attack already. And now it looks like Hero is going to be blinking on up here. And he will be able to possibly snipe this one Viking, which will allow him to get more War Prisms and possibly cancel this Command Center. Will he get it? Looks like yes, he forced the Command Center to be canceled. He's going to stay here a little bit, try to take out some units, but just going to blink on away. Throws out a scan and this War Prism, uh, not War Prism, Observer is going to be taken out. Hero is securing his third base and uh, has his one stalker right here just watching to see when the Terran player ends up taking his third base. But since the command center is being built right here, it looks like Trauma wants to take his third base in this location. And uh, we have Hero trying to be a little bit aggressive using the Zealot for vision and then uh, stalkers try to shoot. But just too much here for Trauma. And if Trauma does take this third base, well Hero's got it covered too because he has this one watchtower which can see that base. Storm is on the way for Hero. He has a lot of warp gates. Is going for a plus two already on those weapons. Or is that plus? Yeah, that is plus two. And looks like the Stalker is just going on around. We do have a sensor tower up here for Chama, so the Stalkers cannot really abuse this whole area. Chama just playing this very safe, totaling up so ridiculously hard, which allows Hero to go up in the tech tree very significantly. Chama needs to hit a timing to deal with these high templates. There is a timing created when he's trying to gain energy or research the storm, but since he's contained to his base, he can't hit that timing, and a Protoss player left free to macro is going to be so ridiculously strong because he is going to have those upgrades well before Trauma. It allows him to use all his Chrono Boost on his forges to get those upgrades out really quickly, as we do have the plus two attack almost finished and plus two armor halfway, and now he is... In this area, the warp, uh, Observer... How's he getting vision of this? Well, observer is down here. Took a few shots, but did not go down. Blinks up one Stalker. Is going to take this Sensor Tower out. And now that one Stalker is going to be going down. Hero, though, does blink all this way. Scan goes down, trying to find the Observer. But Hero does sneak that one away right there. And Chama does have a Ghost out, so he can kind of deal with the high Templars. There are a lot of Templars out. There's plenty that can storm. I think all of these will enough energy to storm before the battle does commence. This one may even have two storms. Here we're going to be putting them up in a War Prism, which does prevent them from being sniped or EMP'd. The Stalker is going to blink down here, and he's going to have a nice concave on this one force. The Zealots do not have charge, though, and that's a little bit odd. A hero may be forgetting charge right now. And uh, Chama does not want to stay in this one concave because a few force fields will absolutely screw him. War Prism does have two High Templars and two Zealots. Scan does go down trying to find any observers or anything and does not want to chase in this one concave. Hero though, where is that War Prism? Okay, way back here. Looks like he's going to be using that to drop and storm on top of Trauma. The army tab right now, 138 to 119. Trauma has the larger army, but Hero is at 2-2, while Trauma is at 1-1. And where did that War Prism go? It is right over there. And Trauma looks like he wants to go and take out this third base, but we do have two high temples with good energy. And at the same time, he is waiting for this force to go down. Gets a nice EMP off on a lot of those zealots. And not all the High Templars. The Storms are going down, dealing quite a bit of damage. You can see all that Bioforce is injured, but there's Medivacs that are going to be healing them up. Does throw a Storm on that one ramp. Those Bioforces are just bathing in it. Warp is them unloosing some of those High Templars to throw down more Storms. And going back to this army supply, it is 83 to 95, but a Colossus now out for Hero. Does not have the Thermal Lance right now. That Archon is almost out of shields. And Trauma... Just going to be trying to set the contain up while he does go to this one base. But keep in mind, there are Templars with a lot of Storms and a few Zealots. But these Mirage can just run right on through the Storms if they want to. There we go. Mirage going to run through. Hero is going to come try to break this force down here. 
do have the Wood Prism with two High Temples in it yet again. Mainly just Murata, so there's nothing that Trauma can do to take out that Wood Prism, which just allows his forces to get stormed. And this force looks like it will be taken care of. We do have that Nexus going to be taken out. So it's going to be three bases to just two bases right now. The supply is still very even. Those Medivacs still relatively high in energy. A lot of them out. Vikings out to try to deal with those Colossus. And here's mining off this two base is going to hurt him significantly as he doesn't really have any minerals left on this main base. This is going to be a, a lot of probes just idle while he tries to get that second base back on up. Or the third base back on up. Meanwhile, Chama going to be... Maybe he was doing some type of drop or just getting units away. And he is going to be setting up bunkers because right now he knows he's ahead. He knows Hero has to inflict damage if Hero wants to come back into this game. So he's going to play as uh, defensive as he can. Just going to try to abuse that economic advantage. We do have that charge now started on those Zealots Hero at 3-2 upgrades. Once he has 3-3, he's going to be pretty scary of trauma. Oh, he's going to be on 2-2. But Hero will have that upgrade advantage in... We have the Warp Prism with a High Templar in it. Not exactly sure what that's going to be doing. It is going to be going down. Will it be able to storm the Mineral Line and do a lot of damage? There it goes. It does walk over to that. A lot of SCVs are going to be going down right there. Snipe on that. But oh my god, he did take out, I think, around 16 workers with those storms. Feedback's going off on those Medivacs. Well, maybe that was a ghost, but he cannot engage in this with these bunkers and all these units in the Vikings to take out the Colossus. He is going up to um, six Vikings. I'm surprised he's not building any more right now. Going to be getting a missile turret up because, well, why not? We'll give him detection so any DTs can't just walk on in. And it looks like he did go outside that bunker to heal up with the medevac, then went back in. Very cute play from Tramo right now. He is getting more and more Ghost out up to, let's see, he has two Ghost out. Going to be going up to five Ghost. And there's a few units that are going to come take out that one High Temple without taking a single loss. This Medivac is very injured. Will he get repaired or not? Doesn't look like he is too concerned about that. Hero is going to back up on four bases. So this is how he's going to get in the game. For being behind, for getting this base taken out, he does go up on four bases before Trauma does. 163 supply to 150. Hero is in the supply lead. The Yomi lead does go to Trauma. And he needs to get that Viking count up higher. Generally, you want like six Vikings per Colossus at a max of 18 to 20 Vikings. With these four Colossus, these six Vikings are not going to be doing enough damage. So Trauma is going to be building more and more Vikings. Just to get that up a little bit higher, he has started his 3-3 hero, is at 3-2 right now, but his 3-3 just about done. Going to be getting Immortals out to deal with those Marauders. Trauma, let's see, his units right now, 17 Marines, uh, 21 Marines, 24 Marauders, 5 Ghosts. The thing I like, he's not going too Marauder heavy, he's getting a lot of those Marines because those are what do DPS. Marauders have silly DPS against Zealots, and Hero going to be taking out these rocks. Looks like he's going to try to attack Trauma from this one angle where he's not going to be defended at. That is going to be really nice, but Trauma is going to be moving on out. Again, he has no idea that Hero is going to be going in this way. A few Stalkers do come in. Scan does go down, and Trauma is going to try to trap those Stalkers. going to get one. No, he doesn't even get one Stalker. Very nice blinking from Hero right there. You can even see he did two phases of blinks. They're blinking his back units up and then blinking the future back units, I guess you can say. He is going to be taking his fourth base, and Hero is going to know the exact timing of this. Hero has been on four bases for some time. 45 SCVs, 265 probes. Both players almost maxed out. We do have the warp prism speed upgrade on the way. We do have a drop also coming out for Trauma. And Hero doesn't have any high Templars right here. These medevacs at very high energy. It would be wise of him to stim a few units, let this medevac heal up before going out to do a drop, because right now one feedback would kill one of those medevacs. And the drop is going to be coming to take out this one fourth base. He has no idea about this, so he's going to click on the minerals and see how much is mind me. Like, oh my god, you've been on four bases for quite a while. We do have another uh, warp prism coming on out, trying to fly over the top of Hero's army. Decides, okay, that's not a good idea. And we do have all of Chama's units retreating right now. Does force the stalkers back, and will Chama move on forward? It doesn't look like that. We do have the one stalker going to be taken out by SCVs. And they do so little damage because they have... Because uh, the Stalkers had so much on them, but here we go. We're going to be going into an engagement right now. The Zealots realizing this is not a good battle and is going to be backing on off. There's 200 supply versus 200 supply. That 3-3 just about done for Trauma. 
Zillards coming in. We do have plenty of Vikings to deal with these Colossus. And here we go. Big battle is commencing. Who will be victorious? It looks like Trauma stemming up a lot of units. And now Hero is on the retreat. Going to be losing two of these Immortals. And uh, Trauma right now showing his dominance. And no! Only one of those Immortals does go down. Trauma is backing off a little bit early. And Hero doesn't really have any sentries in this one army. Trauma going to be stimming up just a few units at a time. Such a nice job by him. And this Viking still alive to deal with this Colossus. Storm is going down on that bio. Trauma's units are very injured, but Hero does not have any shields. He doesn't really have any units besides this one Immortal and this Colossus that deal deep. Yes, never mind. He's got a few Stalkers up there. And it looks like it is still completely even. That Immortal does go down. That Urkhan is going to go down while it is morphing on in. And now we do have a drop coming out for Tom, but this one High Temple is here. Get the feedback off on one of those Mavax. Doesn't have the energy to do another one. That's why you stim before you go in and let your Mavax heal a little bit. Just so they don't have above 150 energy. Supply is still about even. Army tab 68 to 73. Hero has a lot of High Templars. He's going to be morphing in a lot of Urkons. And uh, Chama, he is not overbuilding on Vikings, stopping this Viking production. That is so smart by him. Gonna be getting bunkers up, gonna try to divide this map in half. Hero does have his warp prism moving on out. It's up to 35 SEV kills. And those Urkons don't really take any damage from the Mirage. You need these Marines, but the Marines fall so quickly to both Urkons and Colossus. He needs these bunkers to get up, but they're not done yet. He needs more ghosts to get those EMPs off on those Urkons. To allow his Marauders to take them out. And here we go. The Warpism is going to be coming in. Going to try to get some Storms out. But we do have Trauma moving very quickly. And losing only one or two SEVs there. Very nicely done. But this uh, Warpism is going to be going on over. And looks like he lifts up this one Command Center from his natural. Going to be moving on to take another base. And going back to the Ermi Hero. Pulling ahead in that Ermi tab. But we do have Trauma turtling up with Bunkers. More High Temples coming down here and takes out a lot of SCVs. Looks like 10 SCVs do go down right there. Chama going to be trying to mine up this one base. His SCV count is down to 34 to Hero 66. If he can max out 200-200, he will have a scary army. But I don't know if Hero is going to be letting him go into the army supply. Hero is starting to pull way ahead above 20 supply in that army. Both players are at 3-3 upgrades, but now uh, Hero is going in for that shield upgrade. He has 3-2-3 three, three right now. Doesn't have plus 3 shields on the way just yet. He notices, okay, you don't have too many Vikings, so I'm going to be building a lot more Colossus. The Colossus do a lot of damage. And here you go. Hero going to be coming in, trying to break this. There's not too many ghosts before this battle. There are only like two ghosts. The EMPs do not go down on these Urkons, and they are just tearing through everything with those storms. Trauma losing a lot of units. He is in the deep, deep. It doesn't look like Hero is losing all that much. And Hero may become victorious right here. There goes the GG. And let's just go back in that battle before we go into SE2 gears. Before this, just see those EMPs. I don't think many EMPs went off. So, okay, before this, he does have two ghosts. So this is what we're going to be looking at, those ghosts. And we're going to go at normal speed. He doesn't have the energy to throw off EMPs in this battle. And this is so huge. Just allows these Urkons to deal so much damage. And uh, Marauders don't take out Urkons that well when they have their shields. And that is all she wrote. No EMPs. Almost maxed out Protoss. G, G. Oh, man. We're going to be going into SC2 gears right now. Make sure this did switch on over. It did. And going to go over into the APM tab because that's what we always go to first. I don't know why. It's just something nice to uh, look at. We do have Hero at 39 macro APM, 140 micro. That is so low for macro, but he is Protoss, so it's cool. Trauma, 57 mi uh, macro, 107 micro. A Dunsey for Hero, 29%, while Trauma does have 34 overall, 179 to 165. And with that low macro APM, I want to go back and look at the energy on Hero's Nexuses. 200, 200, 200, and almost. Oh, I was saying 200. 100, 100, not 200, guys. It's 100 per Nexus. Forgive me. 100, 100, 100. 
and almost 100 hero, really not using those Chrono Boost. So you can see, even though how well he played that game, he did not play it anywhere near perfect. That Chrono Boost can help so much. Let's go over into unit tiers. You can see uh, right here, we don't have any units being built. That's a little bit odd. For hero, let's see what was going down. We have this marked at 23 minutes. Right around 22, 23. So around this time, hero misses a warpin. And I'm just showing this to uh, show you guys how to use SC2 gears. This is not a big deal. But hero should miss a whooping right here. Not whooping any units. He's not 200 200. He doesn't have the money right now. Still. Still not really whooping in anything this whole time. Getting now for Zealous. But that whole time he wasn't really whooping in units. He was going to do this uh, Zealot and DT harassment. He maybe didn't have the money to. But that's just something you want to look into SC2 gears. And if you ever really do see these gaps, this is really small, so this may not be an issue. But if it's like too wide, that's a huge issue in your play if you're not maxed out. So around these times, it generally means you missed one production cycle. So that's something you can use to look at your own games and kind of see how well you played, how well your macro is. Going in, resources spent. We do see it very even on these minerals. Here, mining only uh, less than 2k, around 1,500 more minerals. Gas is a different story, though. Here, mining about 7k more gas. And uh, let's see. Build stack. This is going to be the coolest thing. This is my favorite one. So, okay, we have 22 scans, 10 EMPs, 48 stims. Uh, 22 snipes, not scans. 22 snipes, 10 EMPs, 48 stems, 17 scans, 38 mules dropped. For hero, we have 7 feedbacks, 27 storms, 18 urchons, 5 gunian shields, 33 different blinks, warp prism, 16 force fields, 19 whoops to morph gate. <laughs> Did I say whoop to morph gate? Morphs to warp gates, wow. Uh, 70 different Chrono Boosts. And this Chrono Boost could have been a lot higher. But, uh, go over into... Oh, wait, we're going to stay on that one tab. We'll uncheck ability groups. Go into units, because this is also cool. Only 14 Ghosts, 15 Vikings, 17 Medivacs, 107 Marauders, 162 Marines, and 89 SCVs built for a Terran player. 4 Hero, 8 Colossus, 46 High Templars, 4 DTs, 4 Immortals... 3 Observers, 7 Sentries, 36 Stalkers, and 134 Zealots with 67 probes. Man, he did not lose any probes that game, did he? Let's go back into this. How many workers did he lose? 3! He lost 3 workers. Oh wait, we're not the end game. Yeah, he lost three. Well, he killed 59 SCVs. Bravo, sir. Bravo. So we go back into this. Anything else really to look at? No, it doesn't really look like that. And, um... So, uh, my apologies. I didn't do a vlog this week. I know I said I do them weekly, and, uh... I already didn't do it, but I have been looking at a lot more at my casting, looking at a lot of timings, talking to a few pro players, just learning as much as I can. So during the beginning of the games, I can come in and say, okay, the SCV does get, I mean, the probe does get trapped into uh, Chama's base, but he sees the order command being late, so he knows something is up. Those are the things I am learning right now. So I didn't do a vlog. I want to uh, little, learn a little bit more about the game, and then I will be kind of doing strategy vlogs, so... And take take it or leave it. The vlogs will be coming out eventually. I want to kind of have a whole strategy guide for every race, kind of similar to what D Apollo has been doing. So uh, take care, guys. I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this cast, please do subscribe. It really does mean a lot for get the subscriber number because that's what like MLG looks at. That's what bigger partners look like when I want to play ads. So if I really want to progress and do bit um huh.
bigger and better things, I need more subscribers. That number is relatively low. It's around 800 now, which is a lot higher than it was like two months ago at 500. But each video I've been getting like 2k hits on, so that number, I'd be happy if it was around 1200. So uh, do you put subscribe, and if you're already a subscriber, leave a comment either on se2cast.com or my YouTube channel. I read them both, and uh, every word is encouraging. And if it wasn't for you guys leaving those comments, I wouldn't be doing these replays every day and becoming a better commentator. So that'll be it. Take care, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.